Grades, my favorite part, grades. Like actually my least favorite part about teaching is grades. Um, not necessarily grading, but like what it does to y'all makes y'all savage and crazy, um, which makes me crazy at the end of the term. But uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like grades, but you know, we gotta do it. This isn't like some hippie school where like, you know, whatever you take the class and you know, at the end, like whatever, we have a drum circle and then I give you all A's or, or whatever. Um, I wish it was like that, but you know, we can't, we, we're not really there. So quizzes are worth a lot. They're worth 50% of your grade, all right? Um, they're worth a lot, so you gotta do them. Um, module responses are not worth so much. They're worth 10%, but that means each one is worth about half a point on your final grade. Um, so you just wanna do them. Um, and then you have three options for your final project. You can do um, a presentation on a critical, let me stress critical, remix artist, like a Banksy type, but not Banksy, but someone who does like critical sample based appropriation art. You can do a presentation, a video presentation on that. Um, you can write a short paper um, where you sort of pick a topic within the class and you apply it to your life and your future and your interests and you sort of synth synthesize not summarize, but synthesize the course materials. And lastly, you could do a critical remix project where you could make your own remix appropriation based, you know, work of art. That could be a video mashup, sound mashup. It could be, you know, a 2D. It could be a subvertisement. It could be a, you know, a critic, critic, critique of a company by, uh, monop you know, critiquing their logo or whatever. Um, so those are the options. And th th those three options, each one is worth 40%. You choose one of the three, all right? Um, a couple of things is this, I don't give A pluses and I don't give 100s. Um, it, you know, I don't give 100 because you know, people who get 100s or 110s or whatever the shit, you know, they get too high on themselves, right? And I want y'all to not be so high. Uh, meaning like you get complacent, you do, you do that well and there's no, ever, no, no such thing as perfect. So always 99 um, is the highest you can get. Also, A pluses, they don't exist, what? You're blowing my mind. A pluses don't exist because you're on like a 4.0 scale, which means the highest you can go is a four. You can't go above a four. So like an A plus to me is like giving y'all, you know, um, a gold sticker for not pissing in your pants and going to the, to the toilet. It's ridiculous. Um, I won't do it because it's absurd. So um, you can get an A and that is a fantastic grade. A fantastic grade. I think that's a fabulous grade, right? And I want to apologize to the people out there who may see their GPA go down from a 4.26 to a 4.24 because of my policy on it, but I don't care. A pluses don't exist on a 4.0 scale. That's some middle school shit. Listen, everything is done through Canvas. <laughs> I don't like it, but you know, COVID forced my hand at it and that's where we're at. And it's all done through Canvas and the Canvas site is nice and glossy and, and you know, organized and all that. Uh, and you can go through a video tour of the Canvas later in today's program. All right, so here's the deal. Most modules will have a quiz. They're worth 50% of your final grade, all right? Most modules will have a quiz, not all of them, but most. There's probably like 15 quizzes out of the 18 modules, okay? I will drop your lowest five scores. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Lowest five scores, I will drop them. All right, but here's the thing, is the way I have the grading scheme set up is like, they automatically drop. So like the first five quizzes you, you take, they won't actually you know, necessarily show a score, you know, and then the sixth one will show a score. So if you've taken six quizzes and you failed five of them, but you got 100 on quiz six, it's gonna show your quiz score is 100%. Well, until you start taking more, maybe bombing more. So just note, note that, they'll automatically drop the lowest five. So lowest five, like one, zeros, whatever, you shit the bed, whatever, you know. Um, I drop them, okay? Um, important thing is you wanna never take it on your phone and if you can, use Chrome. Um, it won't work good on your phone. Most phones have Safari and it doesn't actually work well on computers on Safari. So use Chrome if you can or Firefoxes, but don't take these shits on your phone, okay? Every module has a short uh, response at the end and um, the, the prompts are exactly the same for each one. 
Um, you know, and it's just basically a short reflection. I want you to think about this stuff and then post a, a short, um, you know, a short response to it. These are due every Sunday, both the quiz and the two module responses by midnight. What happens after midnight? You turn into back into a pumpkin or you, you know, turn into a friggin' gremlin or whatever. I don't know. Um, but midnight's the time. Okay. Don't let the bell toll you. All right. Um, so yeah, your last three options, uh, for, or you have three options for the final projects, okay? The critical artist presentation, critical remix artist presentation, all these are due June 6th, which is right before finals week, or these are all due right before finals week, okay? Uh, so these are always due right before finals week, um, the midnight before finals week or whatever, all right? Um, so basically you do, for the critical remix artist presentation, you do a five to seven minute presentation. So you prepare slides, you have a nice introduction, your meat and potatoes, you know, talk about an artist, talk about a particular work of, of the artist itself, okay? Um, and then, you know, uh, you, I'll have you do a little fair use analysis of their work where you look and tell us if their, their work is a fair use and you'll learn more about that in the term. Um, you also, uh, you know, whatever. So you're gonna shoot this as a video, you're gonna use Panopto, you're gonna upload it through Panopto where I can see your slides and I can see your face or I can hear your voice as you talk about the slides. Um, you will have, I believe at the end of week five, uh, you will have a proposal due or, you know, you have a proposal due. So just pay attention. That's a one to two paragraph pitch. Okay. Um, the critical remix project, again, this is your choice of you do your own critical remix. And we'll look at plenty of examples of these and actually each module overview will have a, uh, an image of critical art or a piece of critical art, you know, just to give you kind of some ideas or some inspiration. Um, again, this can be audio, video, um, you know, 2D, you could do a 3D joint if you want. Um, again, you're going to have a, a, a proposal due for this um, and you're also going to have to hand in a short reflection paper um, with it where you also do a fair use analysis or what we call a PANAM analysis of your own work. Is your use fair? Okay. Um, and lastly, the synthesis paper. Again, this is a, you know, a five to seven page paper where you choose a topic from the class and you relate it to yourselves. You write about something specific, maybe like you're into sports. And so like you focus on NCAA licensing or licensing for, you know, sports video games, or you look at licensing, like how does ESPN get to air games or what does that, you know, what does that mean? Um, or whatever, you know, you could be into, you want to start your own brand, and so you go into, you know, intellectual property rights and fashion, and you shouldn't have to do a lot of external research. I talk about a lot of this stuff in the class, and you draw upon a lot, actually, you're supposed to draw upon stuff from the class, sort, you know, cite court cases or laws, you know, use some of the academic articles that we have, but, you know, I don't make you go and do research, but if you do research, it's a credible bonus to your work. Um, and anyway, so any of these options are worth, uh, you know, 40% of your grade. Now, here's the deal. After you submit your proposals in this class, I'm going to put you into workshop teams. Yes, these are workshop teams. What you're going to do, and you have to do this on your own. I ain't going to hold your hand through it, right? Is that y'all have to take initiative once I set these up. Because once I set you up as a, as a group on Canvas, y'all can have your own discussion boards, whatever. You can use that, you can set up Zoom meetings, you can set up Google Hangout meetings, Skype, whatever, whatever it is, um, you know, for like a synchronous thing where you meet weekly. And I give, you know, if you look at the assignment descriptions, now actually if you click on the links where it says synthesis paper, or critical remix, you know, project or whatever, that will take you to the full assignment description on Canvas, okay? Um, so you can read through the entirety of what, what I'm looking for here. Um, but basically at the end of each assignment description for the final projects, I'll give you weekly tasks, okay? So the first time after I put you in your groups, y'all should meet and y'all should introduce yourselves and talk about what your idea is. And each week there's, you know, for each project, there's something, you know, you need to do and bring to your group. And this is so that you as number one can collaborate with some of your peers, connect with some of your peers, you know, but also so that y'all can develop your ideas with one another. You can show drafts, you can do, you know, um, you know, <clears throat> go over your presentation and get feedback or what, or whatever from, from your peers. So, um, it's real important that you do that. It's all, 
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> uh, yeah. um, it's important that you do that too because it's also worth part of your grade on these projects along with the proposals. So you want to do that. 